An investigation into the alleged leak of state secrets to China by former Deputy Minister of the Mainland Affairs Council Zhang Xianyao will not be pursued by the High Court Prosecutor's Office. After a discussion with the Investigation Bureau, the High Court determined that a charge of treason was inappropriate as China could not be considered a foreign government. The case has been taken up by the Taipei District Prosecutor's Office. Officers from the Investigation Bureau's National Security Bureau went to the Taipei District Prosecutor's Office to discuss a criminal case against Zhang Xianyao. At the moment, the charges and the facts surrounding the case continue to be unclear. The main points of this case, as well as its contents and the progress of the investigation, will be kept secret, and we cannot make further comment on this. The Investigation Bureau had sought out the High Court Prosecutor's Office. But today they approached the Taipei District Prosecutor's Office because it was deemed that the leak of information wasn't a treasonable charge as they did not involve a foreign government. Therefore, a lesser criminal charge would be handled by the Taipei District Prosecutor's Office. If his case is handled by the High Court Prosecutor's Office, this would mean his crime would involve betraying state secrets, which is a very serious charge which comes with heavy statutory punishment. The Investigation Bureau believes Chang did in fact leak state secrets, but the high court law they sought to try him on expressly states the leak of state secrets to foreign governments, a problematic issue as China is not considered a foreign government. For this reason, the case will be handled by the Taipei District Prosecutor's Office. We'll soon call him in for questioning.